now. This is just the beginning. American Assassin. Man, I was so ready for this movie. My name is Brennan Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Welcome to my review slash opinion for American Assassin. Thank you very much uh, for tuning in. I do appreciate it. Before we get into the review, go ahead and help your boy out by clicking that subscribe button so you can get all of my content. Now, uh, American Assassin, um, I love movies like this. When I first saw the trailer, I was extremely on board because I love uh, Michael Keaton and I just love action adventure movies and stuff with killing and things like that and going off in the woods, somewhere off in the mountains and training and becoming better and better and better. I really do uh, love uh, movies like that. And that's what this trailer screamed to me when I saw it uh, a few months ago. And it also is, is starring uh, Sanaa Lathan. You know, I'm a big fan of hers. And so, you know, I was really, really excited about this. Um, now, the movie is being directed by Michael Cuesta. Um, he's not too much on my radar. He's when I looked him up, he's done a lot of um, projects that are on TV and TV short films and, you know, um, epic side of things and uh, stuff like that. So I'm not too familiar with his work, but he did direct this movie. And uh, I was really, like I said, I was really excited about this movie. But to be honest with you, uh, after walking out, I'm extremely disappointed. And my expectations, you know, just weren't that high. And the reason why I say that is it just the movie just did not live up to the hype or what the trailer uh, proclaimed it to be. You know, it started out great because uh, you have Dylan O'Brien. Uh, who's playing I don't even remember uh, I think his name is Matt um, I, I can't remember his name exactly I could look it up right now uh, it really doesn't matter what his name is but we can just call it well I know I want to uh, I want to look him up but what is his name his name is let's see here Mitch yeah Mitch I was going to say Matt Mitch uh, but Mitch is, uh, you know, with his girlfriend on a uh, on a beach and some terrorist attack. And, you know, she ends up dying. Of course, that, you know, upsets him, sends him on a rampage. You know, he wants to revenge and just wants to take around terrorists all over the world. Sanaa Lathan, you know, he, he pops up on Sanaa Lathan's radar. She recruits him and drops him off at Michael Keaton's camp somewhere ducked off for it so he can become the American assassin. And um, that's the gist of the movie. But when you think about it, it's like, you know, the CIA is, you know, secret organization, secret organization. But I know about it. It's just like, you know, secret organization It's supposed to be the best of the best of the best. But then you have this other subgroup inside of it that's supposed to be supposedly even supposed to be even better than that you know being led by michael keaton but his uh his little secret group is not that impressive i mean like when i went into this movie i'm thinking that i'm going to see some type of training montages and exercises and workouts and gun training and knife training and hand-to-hand -hand fighting that i've never seen before or uh something that i have seen before but just the best of it and it's none of that i mean it's just kind of just like them talking around a circle you know a, pun uh, a few punches and kicks thrown here you get a gun simulation there and it's just really not that impressive and i'm just like okay for this this to be like the uh, super duper elite class of you know warriors of of assassins you know this seems like you know regular police training that you would get at your local police department not knocking on you know local police department but i'm just saying i mean i i was not impressed by the training and it by not even the training even the action now there was another movie that came out this year uh, not so long ago called atomic blonde and I did not enjoy that movie. I thought it was one of the most bo boring, dull movies ever. But I will say that the action in that movie was very enjoyable. Um, it was very intense. Not the case in this movie at all. Um, let's even go back to the acting. The acting all across the board was pretty whack, too. I don't, you know, I saw uh, Sanaa Lathan reaching for acting when she was trying to get along with her co-workers at the job. There was a scene towards the end where Michael Keaton is trying to pretend like well, I don't want to spoil it, but because um, I almost did. But there was a scene where Michael Keaton was um, his, his acting just wasn't there. He was trying to emote and scream like he was in pain or something. I'm like, come on, Michael Keaton. Like you're Michael Keaton. You can do much. Uh, you can do much better than this. So, uh, you know, the acting from Dylan O'Brien was fine. But then you have Tyler Kitsch, who is the bad guy. 
I like Taylor Kitsch. I mean, he's cool. Um, I liked him in Gambit, and uh, I think I've seen him in another movie or two, but he was, uh, like, the villain in this movie. But he was a horrible villain. I mean, like, there was just nothing special about him, nothing threatening at all. Um, he was just there, just another face. Just, you know, they could have got anybody to play this role, to fill this role. Uh, during this whole movie, I felt like there was no stakes. I did not feel like, you know, anybody was in any real danger and uh, even if the bad guys were one, one, you know, with their plan, I was just kind of saying to myself, OK, even if they do win, you know, the damage wouldn't even be that extensive. I mean, they're like, yeah, if my plan succeeds, thousands will die. I'm like every move I've seen since I was like six, you know, the use of these people want to blow up like half the world or half the country or millions. But y'all are only wanting to go kill thousands. Yeah, I don't want thousands of people dying. No, but. The movie could have been more intense if you use, uh, you know, if you wanted to kill millions of people instead of thousands of people. Um, but this movie was extremely bland, just kind of going, you know, just at a slow, steady pace. You know, nothing slowed down, but nothing rubbed up either. And I do remember after every little action scene, I was kind of just like, OK, that was it. So um, it just wasn't that enjoyable. Um, I'm, I'm disappointed with this and just thought that they could have did a lot better. And the trailers make this movie seem like uh, it's, you know, a lot better than what it really is. If I had to rate this movie out of a one out of ten, I would probably give it a a four point five out of ten. Yes, a four point five out of ten. But guys, that's just my opinion. Have you seen American Assassin? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's perfectly fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you watch this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide in the past, present, and the future. You can also so click the little bell so you can be notified when I make uploads. You can go to my website, check me out there, bookmark it. I do have written reviews. And also look me up on social media, Facebook and Instagram. Maybe I'll even start a Snapchat uh, pretty soon because everybody's telling me I need to get on there. And I made it very easy for you guys because there's a link to all that in the description uh, box down below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in for my opinion slash review for American Assassin starring Dylan O'Brien. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.